Okay, the next thing in, in Kitzur Shechon Aruch are the dinam of davening mincha. So the Gemara says, person should be especially meticulous with the davening of mincha. Why is more than shachris and maidif? And the Gemara says, why? Because Aliyah Novi in the famous story in Har Carmel, which is the Avtayr of Kisisa that we rarely re read because it's really uh, either Parshish Shkolim or one of those Parshas. But in the Avtayr of Kisisa, the whole story with the 400 idol worshipping prophets and Aliyah Novi was alone, and they said, okay, he was going to build an altar, and Novi was going to call out to Hashem and their gods or whatever, and the fire is going to come down. So over there, the Pasuk says, It was Mincha time. And Eliyahu Novi went, and Hashem answered him at Mincha time. So the Gemara says, why is the Pasuk emphasizing that it happened Mincha time? Who cares when it happened? Hashem answered him. So the Gemara learns out from there that you have to be meticulous in the davening of Mincha. And it says, why is that? It's a logic behind it also. Shachris is less of a problem. You get up in the morning, before you go to work, you daven Shachris. Might if you come home from work after the end of the day, you have a it's not a big deal. Mincha, many times, especially in winter, smack in the middle of the day. You're in the middle of the, uh, you have a business, in the middle of a meeting, whatever. You have to stop and have a mincha. So it's, it's the most, most difficult, it's a much more difficult time to daven than shachris and mincha, and might Then the same thing you also say in Musa Svarim, Chassidish Svarim, it says, there's three parts of life also. The shachris of life, mincha of life, and maidav of life. Shachris is when you're young, you don't have that many responsibilities. To be a religious Jew, you know, to daven and to learn is, is not uh, that difficult. Maidav is when you retire. You know, retire, you also have the, a lot of time to, to, as they say in America, to kill or to, or to utilize properly. So the, the part of our life which is maidav is the retirement uh, when you get old. Mincha is smack in the middle of life, the prime of life, when you have to work and hustle to, to make a living and raise a family. So a person has to be careful with uh, Tfilis Mincha. We're on the medals for us being here. Huh? We're on our medals. I'll give you a medal. <laughs> Not one that you're going to want, though. But Chsidis uh, also explains Zohir doesn't only mean to be careful, meticulous. Zohir means to shine. To shine with Tfilis and Mincha. By the way, there's a very interesting story. It's a very famous story. I'm not going to go through all the details. But there was a, uh, a famous Balchuv in Lubavitch, very high up in NASA and all those places. His name was Professor Velvel Green. And he lived in Minnesota. And it was impossible. He was a very busy guy. It was impossible to get a meeting with him. And the Chabad Shlich in Minnesota wanted to get the meeting with him. He wanted him to come to speak at one of his dinners that he had, you know, for Chabad in Minnesota. And it was impossible for him to get an appointment with him. Finally, after much pushing and begging, and so he gave him a, like a half an hour appointment in the afternoon. So they're finally just sitting and talking together, and the guy is sitting and spoke with his Velvet Green. He's not too interested in, in this whole thing, Bukhlaw. And all of a sudden, Rabbi Feller, Rabbi Shefeller, let him be, let him be well, and be healthy. Um, all of a sudden, he takes a look outside. It's getting dark. He says, oh, I'm sorry, I got a daven mincha. In the middle of this meeting that the guy didn't even want to give him, and he was going crazy from it, all of a sudden, he says, I'm sorry, I have to go daven mincha. He gets up, puts on his gaitel, and he goes into the corner, he's daven mincha, and this guy is fuming. This guy is fuming. A chutzpah. I, barely, I gave him a few minutes of my time, and look what he's doing. He's having, he's having mincha. But while he was, Rabbi Fellow was Davini Mincha, this Professor Belvo Green thought, one minute, you know what? There's something here, because the guy realized how hard it was to get an appointment with me, and he realized how angry I'm going to be, and yet he realized that God comes first. So that triggered that he mamish became a Lubavitcher. Lubavitcher's kids are in the Shluchim in different places around the world. I knew him personally. I mean, he, was, he spoke a lot at the Kinnusim. Anyway, so it started because somebody had the chutzpah, the Dava Mincha, middle of an important meeting with this guy. And because he saw that Mincha is so important, the guy mamish, mamish became a uh, from Lubavitcher guy. He used to speak and uh, spread Yiddishkeit a lot. 
Okay, now, in order to understand when is the best time to daven mincha. So they have, we learned already in, in the, the division of the day. So let's speak about the afternoon division of the day. Because you have dawn, you have sunrise, then you have the time you create until when you create Shema, until when you're technically allowed to daven. And then you have midday. So the ideal time for mincha, to daven mincha, is after mincha ketana. Because that's when they brought the carbon. We have shachris and mincha corresponding with the carbon tomid of the morning and the carbon tomid in the afternoon. When did they bring the carbon tomid in the afternoon? They brought it after what's called mincha ketana. Now, mincha ketana means the small, small mincha. Then there's mincha gedoyla. Because sometimes they get a peso when it falls Shabbos, they had to bring the carbon tomid earlier on in the day. So they brought it a half an hour of halachic hours after midday. So because there were times that they brought the carbon tomid of the afternoon a half an hour after midday, so then halachically you're allowed to daven mincha a half an hour after midday. A half an hour of halachic hours after halachic midday. One second, one second, one second. Let me just finish this point. The best time to daven mincha, though, is after mincha ketana. Now, mincha ketana is nine and a half hours into the day. Okay? Now, if you remember, we learned that it's a little complicated, so the more we hear it, the, more, the better we understand it. And that is, an, a day according to Allah has 12 hours. The only question is how many minutes per hour. But a halachic day is 12 hours. Now, how do you count a lochic day the way the Alter Rebbe Paskins and Siddur, and not everybody passes, the Vilna Gon also held like that. Day is from sunrise to sundown. Sunrise to sunset, sundown. So you take that sunrise and you take that sundown, and you see how many minutes there are in that day, and you divide it by 12, because there has to be 12 hours in the day, and then that's how long every hour is. So in the summer, it could be, uh, let's say, 70 minutes an hour. And in the winter, it could be 50 minutes an hour and everything in between. Okay? So mincha ketana, the best time to daven... So let's take it a simple calculation. Sunrise, let's say, is 6 o'clock in the morning, and sundown is 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Rarely happens like that. But let's say, just to make it easy, 6 o'clock is sunrise, 6 o'clock is sunset. So the day is exactly 12 hours, right? Set. So, chatzais, midday would be 12 o'clock. When would mincha ketana be? Nine and a half hours into the day. Now, nine and a half hours into the day would be 3.30. Because 12 is six plus three and a half. So it's 9.30. I mean, 3.30 would be what's called mincha gedele. Now, for mincha gedele, mincha ketana, I'm sorry, mincha ketana. So from Mincha Ketana until sundown, based on this calculation, is two and a half hours. Right? Two and a half hours is left between Mincha Ketana and sundown. So then there's something called Plag HaMincha. Plag HaMincha is literally half of the Mincha time. That means, what would be Plag HaMincha if 3.30 would be Mincha Ketana, okay? There's two and a half hours left to the day. So an hour and a quarter after 3.30, or an hour and a quarter before six o'clock, which is exactly the same thing, would be Plag HaMincha. So Plag HaMincha in that case would be a quarter to five, 4.45. Yeah, right? Good. I said it wrong. Oh, what? You said it before I did. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it. Okay, so then, Plaga Mincha would be 445. So based on that, so some people that bring Mairev in early, like Friday night, you want to bring Mairev in early. So then, technically, there's an opinion in the Gemara by the great rabbi, by the name of Rabbi Yehuda, who holds that Plaga Mincha is already night. Plaga Mincha is night. So according to that day, according to Rabbi Yudah, if you want, you could have a Mariv 
at five, five, uh, 445. After 445. But in order to do that, you have to dive in Mincha before 445. Because if you're counting 445 Plaga Mincha night, then you can't dive in Mincha at night. So then you have to dive in Mincha earlier. So you have to dive in Mincha before 445. Then you could dive in Mincha if you might have, if you want 445. Because according to Rabbi Yudah, it's night. And the Gemara says, if you want to do like Rabbi Yudah, you could do. If you want to do like the Chacham, you could do. Kabbalistically, we don't do it, but uh, an Allah is allowed to dive in Mairev. But you have to beat over Shema, because Shema is dafka at night. Night, night, and uh, if it's fair so Omer, you have to do Omer again, because you need to make sure that you're counting the Omer at night. So the best time to dive in Mincha, again, taking a, a, a day from 6 to 6, but I'll, I'll give you an example. Today, for instance, um, okay, sunrise in L.A. is 625. So midday, according to today, because sunset is 1922, it's 722. So midday is 1253. 12.53 today is, is midday. Now you can have a mincha a half an hour of halachic hours after that midday. So the earliest you could have a mincha today is 1.26. That's a half an hour of halachic hours after midday, right? Then plaga mincha today would be 6.01. 18.01, 6.01 would be plaga mincha. Sundown is 7.22 today. So again, every day, I mean, you have now computerized systems and maizmanim and tell you every, how long each hour is, and every day to tell you exactly what time the sunrise, what time dawn, what time, how long each hour is, according to Allah, and that's how you figure out how late you can read Krishna, and the earliest you could have a mincha, and the earliest, the latest you could have a mincha, you know, all these various things. It's very important to know that the preferred time of davening mincha is mincha ktana. What? L'chadchil, it says in Allah, you could daven, you're supposed to daven preferably mincha ktana. But it says, not even b'shas chak. if you need, you could daven uh, mincha uh, half an hour after chatzais. So say a person's traveling or whatever, they should have a mincha then. What? How does it work? They do shachrit and mincha together or something. Shachrit and mincha together? I mean, they do shachrit and mincha. I'll tell you, there, there were a certain chassidim of the Alter Rebbe, because see a lepler, they would have a shachrit and mincha together. What? <laughs> One second. He didn't wake up at 3.30 to daven shachrit. He davened very long shachrit. He started on time. He got bright and early. He learned chassidus, went to the mikveh. He davened for five, six hours shachris. And then he davened mincha. And then he davened ma'ariv. There are a lot of people that. Now, today you also have people that do that. They go to Lebrea at 12.30, have a shachris. And then after shachris, he davened mincha. Because then at 30, he could daven mincha. And then they come later to show the daven ma'ariv. So they don't daven shachris, mincha, ma'ariv. They daven shachris, mincha together. But uh, shachris has to be in the morning. Shachris is supposed to be in the morning and Mincha is supposed to be in the afternoon. Yeah. How could people do a lot of things they shouldn't be doing? I mean, that's the, the world's uh, famous question. Why do people do things they shouldn't be doing? But um, there's a whole discussion. Is it better to daven Mincha closer to Shkia or, uh, you know, now, how late, technically, can somebody daven mincha? What's the latest you could daven mincha? So, the al also brings down in Pesach, it's brought down in many places, that you could daven b'dyevet until tzeseh kuchavim. Which is, uh, the al says in Shchonorach, over there in Hochus Pesach, in Russia, where he lived, it was approximately half an hour, and, and L.A. is approximately, based on longitude and latitude, similar to the this is what the experts say, to the place that Alter Rebbe lives. So you could have a mincha at least until a half an hour of the shkia, if you didn't. Exactly. They brought down many tzaddikim, many tzaddikim would have a mincha late. There was a famous, this was called the Belzer mincha. The Belzer chassidim would have a mincha. There were great tzaddikim, the Rebbe's. 
They, uh, they were Davim in Chalait, and they brought down in Tzvarim, the Mechisalazim brings down. Why did they do it? Because night is the time of din, of judgment, of severity. It's dark, you know. And they wanted to fight the forces of darkness, so they would daven mincha afterwards. But the normal, regular, average person should daven mincha before sundown. By the way, that explains, that point explains another thing, why uh, when people are sick, we mentioned this in the past, if you ever notice when you're sick, you feel worse at night than you do during the day. Yeah, why is that? So, Pikabola, the reason is because today is light as chesed. Night is darkness, is gvura. So, because if chesed is revealed, you feel better. And when gvura is revealed, you feel worse. So what? In Los Angeles, what is the latest? How much, what time? Half an hour after Shkia. What does that mean? What time? 7.25, we do. So, half an hour after, so 8.30? 7 55. No, 7.55, 7.55, what? So is there a halachic basis to daven in the like at night, like the Where is the halachic reasoning behind it? The chassidish should possibly talk about it. Not, you're not going to find the shulchan aruch. The minchas halazah. Starting. 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 Starting